All right, so I'm gonna walk you through one of our most powerful APIs that helps you effectively respond to leads from our master inbox. So the utility of this is if you're replying from perhaps uh, your CRM or through a third party infrastructure where you're not using Smartly at all, this lets you completely abstract our platform so you can automate pretty much every aspect of our business. So uh, I'm gonna look at that screen and show you exactly how you do this. It is a few steps, but once you join everything together, it becomes extremely simple and straightforward to do and is only a one-time process. So I'll show you how you can actually go ahead and do this. So the first step is you want to go ahead and get the actual lead that is trying to be responded to. So that is, you want to go ahead and click on this particular API over here, which is letting you fetch the lead. So once you actually fetch the lead, which is, you probably have this stored already from your CRM if you've integrated you know, uh, accordingly within Smart Lead, and that will get you your lead ID. And we'll go through each piece uh, bit by bit. Once you get your email ID uh, of that particular lead, then what you want, you want to go ahead and get the message history of that lead in perspective to the campaign that you are responding or automating the response to, right? So that's this API that you want to call. And then there's bits and bobs from this particular API that we're going to fetch information from, and I'll walk you through it very quickly. And then the last section is you want to use the data we've collected and effectively go ahead and push that into a message body over here, and that is going to act as a response. So if you go through the API bit by bit over here, I've gone ahead and effectively fetched the ID of this particular leads email address, so I've got that information over here. I've taken that ID along with the campaign that I want to respond to, which is my campaign ID that is that one, and the lead ID that I just fetched beforehand, and that's gone and got me this piece of information. Now here comes the powerful part where we want to use this in the API perspective. So there's a few points to note over here. So we need something called the email stats ID. The email stats ID is referring to this stats ID that you get from each of these little JSON body types from the message history. Then the next one what we want is the email body. This is actually what you want to respond back to them saying, yep, sounds good, I'm interested, or let's chat, or let's book a meeting, or great contract signed. Then the message ID is the message to which you want to respond to. So let's just say over here, the message history has 15 messages and you want to respond to the last one or the second last one. This is where, again, it gets even more incredible for you to use because you can respond to any reply that or conversation within a message thread, just like you would in a natural email conversation. So let's just say I want to reply just for the simplicity, simplicity sake, I want to respond back to the last message over here which is this one on this case, I want to respond back to this. So we're gonna take that particular message ID and stats ID. So over here, the response that I'm using is the stats ID of the email I want to respond to. Uh, respond to. The reply message ID is this one's message ID. Uh, that one, reply message ID, is, that's the one I'm using. Uh, the reply email time is the time that I have over here. And then the last one is if you want it to look natural as a response, so as we know in emails, it will respond as a thread to the previous message. So you wanna go ahead and also use the reply email body, which is this one over here, which is the email body piece. So you wanna collect all these pieces of information, and then the only thing that you effectively need is the message body, sorry, email body, and, and that's it. So there you go, the API is completely done, and you can use this pretty much to get going. Thank you and have a good day.